Hi guys! Welcome to Cup of Teach. This time, we're going to discuss inverse functions. Inverse of a function. The inverse of f denoted by f raised to negative 1. We read this as f inverse is the function form by reversing all ordered pairs in f. This means that the domain of the inverse is the range of the original function and that the range of the inverse is the domain of the original function. Properties of inverse function. If f inverse function exists, number one, f inverse is a one-to-one -one function. f is only one-to-one. -one. Number two, domain of f inverse is the range of f. And number three, Range of F inverse is the domain of F. For example, original function, as you can see in the table, values of X are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Values of Y, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Sa ating inverse function, magre-reverse sila. So, ang magiging values na ng X natin, 5, 6, 7, and 8. At ang values na ng y natin ay 1, 2, 3, and 4. Another example, find the inverse of the function described by the set of ordered pairs. So we will have here negative 1, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 3, positive 1, 4, positive 2. So, we're going to get the inverse of this given set of ordered pairs. So, babalik ta rin natin sila lahat. So, sa original function, negative 1, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 3, 1, 4, 2. Sa inverse function, magiging negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, positive 1, 1, positive 3, 2, positive 4. So, mapapansin nyo, lahat ng kaninang values ng x ay napunta sa values ng y. At ang values ng y natin ay napunta sa values ng x. So, these are the inverse of the set of ordered pairs. How to find f inverse of x? Number 1, replace f of x with y. 2, interchange x and y. 3. Solve for the new y from the given equation in step 2. And number 4. Replace the new y with f inverse of x if the inverse is a function. For example, find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 6. So let us write first f of x is equal to 2x plus 6. So ang ating unang step Replace natin ang f of x with y. So, we will have here y is equal to 2x plus 6. So, yung f of x, pinalitan na natin ng y. Second step, interchange x and y. So, pagpapalitin natin ang x at ang y. So, we will have here x is equal to 2y plus 6. Then, yung step 3, isolve na natin ang ating bagong y. O yung bago nating value ng y. So, we'll have here x minus 6 is equal to, to y. So, since ito yung ating y, ililipat natin ang 6 sa kabilang side. So, kapag nilipat natin or in, uh, tinranspose natin, magbabago siya ng side. Kaya, meron tayo dito x minus 6 is equal to, to y. Then, to solve for y, we need to divide both side by 2. The numerical coefficient of y. So that we can cancel 2. So ang matitira na lang sa ating right side ay yung y. So we will have here y is equal to x over 2 minus 3. So bakit 3? Kasi yung x minus 6 all over 2 magiging x over 2. And then, negative 6 divided by 2. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Or we can write this as 1 half x minus 3 is equal to y. 
So, pwede natin pagpalitin ng position ang left side tsaka right side. So, we'll have here y is equal to 1 half x minus 3. And then, punta tayo sa pang-apat na step. Sabi, replace the new y with f inverse of x if the inverse is a function. So, palitan natin ng f inverse of x. So, we will have here f inverse of x is equal to 1 half x minus 3. Another example, find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to 7x minus 21. So, ang una nating step, palitan daw natin ang f of x ng y. So, we'll have here y is equal to 7x minus 21. Second step, pagpalitin natin ang y at ang x. So, we'll have here x is equal to 7y minus 21. And then, solve na natin si y. Lipat natin ang negative 21 sa left side. So, pag naglipat tayo or nagtranspose, we have to change the sign. So, we'll have your x plus 21. So, plus na dito kasi minus siya sa right side. Then, is equal to 7y. To solve for y, we need to divide both side by 7. So, that we can cancel 7. Ang matitira sa ating right side ay y. And then, sa left side natin ay x over 7 plus 3. So, paano siya naging plus 3? Yung x over 7 and then yung 21 over 7. So, 21 over 7 is 3. That is why we will have here 1 over 7x plus 3 is equal to y. So, same lang sila nung nandito sa taas. Or, pwede natin pagpalitin ng posisyon ang left and right. So, y is equal to 1 over 7x plus 3. And then, yung pinakalasi step natin, palitan daw natin yung y ng f inverse of x. So, we'll have here f inverse of x is equal to 1 over 7x plus 3. Next is, find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to the quantity of x plus 1, quantity cubed plus 2. So, copy muna natin ang ating function na given. Yung first step natin, papalitan natin yung f of x ng y. So, we will have here y is equal to the quantity of x plus 1, quantity cubed plus 2. Next step, yung x and y natin, pagpalitin naman natin ng position. So, x is equal to the quantity of y plus 1, quantity cube plus 2. Then, this time, magsasolve na tayo ng y. So, since meron tayong constant dito outside the parentheses, lipat muna natin itong plus 2 sa left side. Always remember, pag nag-transpose, you have to change the sign. So, kung plus siya dito, magiging minus na. x minus 2 is equal to the quantity of y plus 1, quantity cube. So, since ito ay naka-cube, kunin lang natin ang cube root niya para yung exponent na 3 at yung index na 3 ay makancel out. So, we'll have here the cube root of x minus 2 is equal to y plus 1. Meron pa tayo ditong constant na kasama ni y. So, lipat natin dito sa left side para matira na lang dito sa right side ay y. So, we will have here the cube root of x minus 2 minus 1. So, ito na yung plus 1 dito, ginawa na natin minus 1, is equal to y. Or, pwede din natin siyang isulat ng pag ganito, y is equal to the cube root of y minus 2 minus 1. Then, yung ating last step, yung y natin, papalitan natin ng f inverse of x. So, we'll have here the f inverse of x is equal to the cube root of y minus 2 minus 1. So, how to find or how to verify if f and f inverse are inverse functions? So, the two function f and g are inverse of each other if f of g of x is equal to x. For every x is the domain of g and g of f of x is equal to x. For every x in the domain of f. That is, 
f of g of x is equal to g of f of x is equal to x or if g of x is equal to the inverse function of x then we can say na ang f of f inverse of x is also equal to f inverse of f of x which is equal to x okay prove natin find the inverse of function f of x is equal to 5x plus 10 show the f of f inverse of x is equal to f inverse of f of x. So, so this is the problem. Solve natin ang y. So first, let us write yung ating given a function. f of x is equal to 5x plus 10. First step natin, ang ating f of x ay papalitan natin ng y. So y is equal to 5x plus 10. Second step, palitin natin ang position ni x at saka ni y. So, we will have here x is equal to 5y plus 10. Third step, solve for y. Yung constant nating positive 10, lipat natin sa left side. So, pag nag-transpose, automatically mag-change ng sign. So, x minus 10 is equal to 5y. So, para ma-solve si y natin, kailangan nating uh, ma-remove yung 5. So, by dividing both side by 5. So, makakancel na natin yung 5. Basta palaging tandaan kung ano ang numerical coefficient ni y, yun lang ang i-divide natin. So, sa right side natin, matitira ay y. Then, sa left side, x over 5 minus 2. So, bakit minus 2? Kasi negative 10 divided by 5. That is negative 2. Then, equals y. Or, pwede natin isulat ng y is equal to 1 fifth x minus 2. So, bakit siya 1 fifth? Automatically, meron tayo dito numerical coefficient na 1. And then, yung ating last step, yung y natin ay papalitan natin ng f inverse of x. So, we'll have here f inverse of x is equal to 1 fifth x minus 2. Then, punta tayo sa next na problem. Ang sabi, show that f of f inverse of x is equal to f inverse of f of x is x. So, kailangan natin ma-prove yan. Unahin natin yung ating left side, which is f of f inverse of x is equal to 5x plus 10. So, bakit 5x plus 10 ang ginamit natin dito? Kung sino yun na dito sa unahan na function, yun ang ating gagamitin. Since ito ay f, uh, f of x, which is 5x plus 10. And then, sino ang ating isa substitute dito sa x? Yung nan dito sa loob, which is the inverse. So, we will have here 5 times 1 fifth x minus 2. Then, copy natin yung plus 10. Multiply natin yung 5 and 1 fifth, which is 5 over 5x. Then, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Ito, pwede pa natin isimplify yung 5 over 5, which is 1 or x na lang. So, copy lang natin ang negative 10 at saka yung plus 10. Itong negative 10 at yung positive 10 ay cancel na yan. So, that is 0. Therefore, ang ating f of f inverse of x is equal to x. Then, punta tayo sa ating right side. Ang right side natin, kinakailangan ay x din. f inverse of f of x is equal to 1 fifth x minus 2. So, bakit 1 fifth x minus 2 ang ginamit natin dito? Kasi ang given dito sa unahan ay inverse. Therefore, ang gagamitin natin yung ating f inverse of x, which is 1 fifth x minus 2. Then, sino ang ating sa substitute dito sa x? Yung ating given na function, yung original function natin na 5x plus 10. So, we will have here 1 fifth times 5x plus 10 minus 2. Then, multiply natin to 1 fifth times 5x is 5 over 5x. And then, 1 fifth times 10 is 10 over 5. Copy natin yung minus 2. Then, simplify natin ang 5 over 5 at saka yung 10 over 5, which is x plus 2 minus 2. So, yung minus 2, kinapi lang natin. Yung plus 2 at minus 2 ay automatically this is 0. 
Where 4, ang matitira na lang ay x. So, ang ating f inverse of f of x is equal to x. Therefore, sila ay parehong x, sila ay equal. So, how do we graph the inverse function? The graph of inverse function is the reflection of the graph of the original function. So, para lang tayong tumitingin yan sa salamin. The axis of symmetry is the line y is equal to x. Yun nasa gitna. For example, the graph of negative 2, negative 5, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, and the inverse, which is negative 5, negative 2. So, inverse lang nitong lahat. And then, negative 3, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, and 5, 3. So, let us graph. This is the graph of the original function. Okay? So, eto siya. Ang agagraph natin is negative 2, negative 5. Eto negative 2, negative 5. And then, negative 1, negative 3. Eto. Then, sunod ay 0, negative 1. So, this is 0, negative 1. Then, 1, 1. Then, 2, 3. Then, 3, 5. So, this is the graph of the original function. Punta tayo sa graph ng inverse. So, inverse naman tayo. So, palitan natin. This is negative 5, negative 2, then negative 3, negative 1, this one, negative 1, 0, and then 1, 1, 3, and 3, 2, then 5, then, this is the graph of in the inverse function. Tignan natin, pagsamahin natin. So, as you can see in the graph, this is the original uh, graph. Original uh, graph ng ating function. And then, ito yung ating inverse. Okay. Then, kung magdodraw tayo dito ng axis of symmetry sa gitna niya, mapapansin nyo, na yung original at saka yung inverse ay parang reflection lang siya ng graph ng original function. So, kung meron dito, meron din sa kabila. Then, meron dito. So, same lang sila. Then, nag-cross sila dito. Then, next ay dito naman. So, it is just a reflection of the original function. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!